And we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of welterweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Miguel Cotto's coming to the ring with his entourage of cornermen. But they look calm, cool, and collected. Hard to believe that they're going to be firing off punches within moments. Mosley's making his way to the ring. And I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up. This isn't one of them. against Kodo tonight is an opponent who absolutely can bring the power. Yeah, but world champions are not made of just power punches. Kodo wants to show that he can do more than just punch. Good combination to the head. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Mosley's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Very accurate to the body with that left hook. Then he brings the right hand. Well, Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit, trying to draw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit, disappear on him, come back with the right hand. Very precise double jab by Miguel Cotto. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Miguel Cotto. And now he's targeting upstairs. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. You can see he's trying. Wow! Round number one, and he's already down. And if he survives here, Joe, you wonder how that's going to affect him for the rest of the night. Because we expect him to be aggressive. Will he be tentative from now on? One, two, three, four, five. Mosley's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. We come to the end of the round. Toto's grasp of real estate is something special. Look how he just stays on the outside early on in this fight and is able to find his target. Well, you're right, Joe. It's prime real estate for him. I mean, he's in the neighborhood he wants to be on the outside. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. Listen, okay, look. A new round underway here. Mosley's hoping that he doesn't make a defensive wall like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see, as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. Gives one. The right hand scores well. 
Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Good return fire that time. Good job staying away from the danger there. Mosley's got to deal with a cut cheek. Unable to score with the hook. Oh, good exchange there. Combination to the head. Shane Mosley's making me question how his legs are right now. I'm not sure that he's all too secure and steady on those legs after that knockdown. Just like he's tying up a lot here. Yeah, well, you don't have to wonder. You're saying you're not so sure he's secure. Well, he's telling you. You know, he's right there. That's about as honest of a fight as ever going to be is when he's clinching. He's telling you, I don't feel too good. More and more punishment is being doled out. Shane Mosley's face is absorbing, and it's not holding up well. It looks like it's sunset right here on his evening. Up top with the right hand. Final 10 seconds. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Miguel Cotto. And that's the end of round two. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or he watched the movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Great movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. He gets off with a combination up top. Miguel Cotto's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. Side to side. Unable to make an impact there by Sugar Shane Mosley. Cotto's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Good job on the two-punch combo by Miguel Cotto. This fight is over. Miguel Cotto's a TKO victim. The ref made the smart move stopping this fight due to that cut.